Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, I would say recently, most of the attention in the Dokkan community has been focused on the JP side of the game. And it makes sense because, of course, they are starting their 6th anniversary very, very soon. But today, I want to show some love to my global players out there by giving you guys a quick preview of all of the banners and units that we can expect to see within the next 6 months, basically before our 6th anniversary starts in July. Okay, now before we get into it, I do want to be extra clear that I have no idea what order these banners are going to be releasing in because as you guys might know, global is super random. Like I do think that Jiren should be next, right? He should be announced within the next like one or two days and then Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will be after him. But you never know, right? Like, they could throw us a curveball and release Turles instead and push back Jiren to, like, I don't know, February, March, April, something like that. So I guess all I'll say is expect to see these units within the next six months, all right? Now, one last thing is uh, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Modera Accounts. They offer stacked global and JP accounts with thousands of stones and many top tier units. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in. Oh, by the way, the prices are also super reasonable. So if you guys are interested in that, then make sure to head down to my description to find their website. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. Okay, so with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And like I said, I do think the LR Jiren banner is going to be next on Global. So let's start here. Okay, so here's the banner itself. And here are the featured units and one thing I will say about this banner is that for a legendary summon banner it's actually not that bad so obviously we have the main prize here the tech LR Jiren but if you look at the other units man I mean there's the new Topo who's actually a very very solid non-doka this unit we have STR Whis who's a great support unit also can dodge and build up a ton of defense so he's amazing for super battle road we also have AGL Fitbu, who is just a phenomenal unit overall. SDR Topo becomes one of the best support units in the entire game with his Extreme Z Awakening. AGL Dispo is awesome too. Of course, Bragadmo. I mean, there's a reason why he's called Bragadmo. I think his name speaks for itself. And then we have this Fizz Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who with the Dokkan Awakening became really, really fantastic. So. Yeah, for a legendary summon banner, I mean, these banners overall are not great value for your stones in my opinion, but if you had to summon on a legendary summon banner, this one ain't half bad, okay? So there's the banner. In terms of any changes for global, I don't really expect any. Legendary summon banners typically stay exactly the same from JP to global, so expect the exact same featured units when the banner drops on global as well. Okay, so now let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and go over the details for Jiren. So his leader skill is Universe 11 category, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 70%, or sorry, 170%, or Universe Survival Saga, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%, super attack 12 key, causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense, and 18 key causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers defense, with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. His passive is attack and defense plus 200%, Key plus one with each attack received up to five attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status and performs critical hit on stunned enemies. Active skill is strength is absolute, attack and defense plus 30%, all enemies attack and defense minus 30% and stuns them for one turn and can be activated upon entering next attacking turn after receiving five or more times or receiving damage five or more times in battle. Once only, Link, Supreme Warrior, Shocking Speed, Infighter, Godly Power, Term of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power in categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Full Power, Universe 11, and Space Traveling Warriors. So that is the Tech LR Jiren for you. Needless to say, he is an absolute monster and uh, definitely deserves his title of you know, one of the best units in the entire game. Some people think he is the best unit in the game. I say he's top three, but either way, he's insane, right? So that's the Jiren. Now let's move on to the next banner, which I think will be dropping after Jiren. But of course, I could be wrong. And that is the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner. 
And here's a quick look at the featured units. We have Gogeta, we have a new Fizz Nova Shenron, SDR Kefla, Fizz Piccolo, Tech, Goku and Gohan, or sorry, uh, Gohan and Goten, uh, Tech Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Fizz Omega Shenron, Tech Super Saiyan 4. So this banner overall was okay. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is amazing. He is really, really good, but the banner overall, I would say, is like a 6.57 out of 10, especially because this Kefla is most likely going to be replaced because she was just recently featured on the Frieza banner. So depending on who she gets replaced by, this banner could be a little bit better or a little bit worse, right? Like for example, if they replace her with AGL Bardock, I think that's just as good, you know? But if they replace her with like an older Dokkan Fest, like, I don't know, AGL Transforming Goku, for example, then this banner could be significantly worse. Um, I do think she will get replaced by a newer unit though, so it's most likely going to be okay. But like I said, this banner just didn't really blow me away. And part of the reason why is because a lot of these units are kind of old or just like not that good, right? Like Tech Super Saiyan 4, Fizz Omega, literally the original category leads. Full Power Super Saiyan 4 is a little bit underwhelming. Like his damage is good, but his defense is just so lacking that I almost never run him. And uh, LR Gobros, of course, very, very, very good, but they have been featured quite a bit over the past six months. And Fizz Piccolo, very solid unit. And uh, yeah, like the banner's not bad, just not amazing, right? So moving on to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's details now. His leader skill is Giant Ape Power Category, key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense, plus 170%, or Shadow Dragon Saga Category, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 200%. Heat plus 4 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%. And attacks effective against all types for 8 turns from start of turn. And then high chance of attacks effective against all types starting from the 9th turn. High chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. Active skill is plus energy emission, all enemies attack and defense minus 40%, and own attack and defense plus 40% for one turn. Can be activated after receiving damage four or more times in battle once only. Links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in the Flash, GT, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and categories are Fusion, Shadow Dragon Saga, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, and Giant Ape Power. So that is Super Saiyan for Gogeta. Moving on to the next banner, which is the STR Turles Army uh, banner right here. And for some reason, it wasn't available on uh, DBZ Space, not sure why, but we're on the Dokkan Wiki here. So we got the STR Turles. And uh, once again, it's another, you know, legendary summon banner. So the value here for your stones really isn't the best. Um, I would say compared to the Jiren banner, this one is not as good. Of course, we do have some very solid units, right? like the Frieza's, the EZA Golden Frieza's, um, Tech Raditz is fantastic too. Um, so yeah, we got some good pieces, but if you had to choose between summoning on the Jiren banner or summoning on the Turles banner, I would probably go with the Jiren banner. I mean, of course, it depends on how many of these featured units you're missing, how many you still need dupes for, all that stuff, so it's kind of situational, but uh, I do think overall, the Jiren banner is better, and I think overall Jiren is also a little bit better than Turles, but of course that's just my personal opinion. Alright, so moving on to Turles' details. His leader skill is Terrifying Conqueror's category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or Extreme SDR key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%. 12 key super causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and 18 key raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and has a high chance of stunning the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 130%, Terrifying Conqueror's category allies key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional key plus 6, and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. Attacks effective against all types, and high chance of launching an additional super attack when key is 24. And his active skill is Fruit of the Tree of Might, key plus 24 for one turn, can be activated, when HP is 60% or less, or starting from the 8th turn. From start of battle, twice only. So this can be used twice. I think this might be 
the only active skill in the game that can be used more than once. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's another unit that has an active skill that can be launched more than one time. Uh, links are a brutal beatdown, prepare for battle, big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, destroy of the universe, gears battle, and legendary power, and categories are movie bosses, joint forces, terrifying conquerors, final trump card, and space traveling warriors. So yeah, the Tardis army is also another extremely powerful unit. Um, I would say, you know, top 5, top 10 for sure. I do think that Jiren, once again, is slightly better, but it might be closer than some people think. Okay, so that's the turret list for you. Moving on to the next banner, which is for the SDR Transforming Bojack. So here's Bojack's banner, and as you can see, man, this banner was actually very, very solid. We got Bojack himself, we got a new Tech Sonya, we have... I mean, arguably the best TUR in the game, Tech Ultimate Gohan. You have AGL Bardock, who's right up there too. Very underrated unit, in my opinion, in the Android 13. And Int Future Gohan, who is also great. So, oh, and this guy's here too. I mean, <laughs> he's actually not that horrible. He's just not terribly exciting. But yeah, overall, this banner had great value for uh, your stones, you know, and I would say, I mean, depends on whether or not you want Bojack. Bojack is actually phenomenal, but I don't think he's like a super exciting character for a lot of people. But Bojack is great, the rest of the banner was great, so this is a good banner to summon on, in my opinion. And I would expect it to drop sometime in April, maybe mid-April or so, but of course, you never know, alright? Moving on to Bojack's details, leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% or time travelers category key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 150% Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and passive is attack and defense plus 100% space traveling category space traveling warriors category allies key plus 2 attack and defense plus 30% when facing one or more enemies plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing two or more enemies plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing three or more enemies. So basically, he can give space traveling warriors allies up to attack and defense plus 50% if you're facing three or more enemies, like on Super Battle Road, for example. Uh, active skill is a transformation. Transforms can be activated when facing only one enemy, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. And links are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, Therapy of Conquest, Coward, Revival, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Terrifying Conquerors, Inhuman Deeds, and Space Traveling Warriors. So, Full Power Bojack now. His Super Attack raises attack and causes immense damage. And Passive is Key Plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 180%. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a Super Attack. Plus an additional attack plus 30% and defense plus 15% when attacking with 3 or more key spheres obtained. And plus an additional attack plus 30% and defense plus 15% when attacking with 6 or more key spheres obtained. And that is pretty much all you gotta know about this Bojack. Uh, he did draw a lot of comparisons to the STR cooler for obvious reasons. I mean, first of all, they're both extreme SDR. And they both have very similar kits. I do think he is slightly different, of course, from Cooler. And uh, in terms of how good they are, I mean, I'd say Cooler is still better, but it's once again closer than you might think. All right. Now, after that, we have a dual Dokkan Fest between the PyCon and Janemba. So, starting with the PyCon banner, it was quite insane. I mean, it actually kind of rivals an anniversary banner. Obviously, not as good, but. You know, close, right? So we got PyCon himself, who is a solid unit. He's good. I mean, some people aren't as high on him as others, but I think he is a good unit still. And we have Tech Boo, the exchange one. We have LR, Blue Gogeta, man. I mean, this is the first time he would be coming back on Global since the fifth anniversary. And yeah, he's gonna be featured on this banner. We have the Fizz Broly, we have AGL Gogeta, AGL Turles, who is still a fantastic support unit, and then of course, the three-year uh, Goku and Vegeta that transforms into Gogeta, or fuses into Gogeta, right? So, um, yeah, amazing banner. Oh, also this guy's here. Now he has been replaced by the Int one, but if you don't have Int Gogeta, this guy, 
can still do some, you know, very good things for you, right? So that's the PyCon banner. And uh, let's just quickly look at the Janemba banner too. So this banner was also great. We have Janemba himself. We have the uh, Int transforming Gotenks, who I'm still missing, by the way. So I would really like to pick him up here. We also have the first... Ret oh, actually, you know what? I was going to say first return again, but... The blue fusions actually came back on the Tanabata banner, but that was not a regular banner. So this would be the first time the blue fusions came back on, you know, a traditional banner. All right. So yeah, we have Tech Vegito Blue, uh, AGL Zamasu, Tech Trunks, Int Goku Black, Int Vegito or Goku and Vegeta, and finally Int Janemba, who technically has also been replaced by the STR one, but that doesn't make him any less amazing, you know? So that is the uh, Janemba banner. And now let's take a look at what these units actually do, right? So starting with PyCon, his leader skill is Connected Hopes Category Key plus three, HP, Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Super Class Key plus three, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%. Super Attack, Burning Shoot, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and greatly lowers attack and he also has a unit super attack or a partner super attack which is called the other world master and the fused warrior and i'm sure you guys can guess who that's referring to so it greatly raises attack for one turn causes immense damage and attacks become effective against all types and greatly lowers attack and it can be activated when there is an ally whose name includes goku angel or Vegeta Angel attacking in the same turn. His passive is attack and defense plus 150%, super class allies key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% with three or more type key spheres obtained, plus an additional key plus four, high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attacks, and seals the attack enemy super attack with a rainbow key sphere obtained and his active skill delays target enemies attacks for one turn and can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or more starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. So this is essentially like a free Ghost Usher. And his links are Supreme Warrior, Gentleman, uh, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Otherworld Warriors, Fierce Battle, and categories are Movie Heroes, Worthy Rivals, Otherworld Warriors, Saviors, Battle of Wits, and Connected Hopes. So moving on to Janemba now. His leader skill is Mind and Body Erosion, Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Extreme Class Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%. Super Attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 120%, guards all attacks, Extreme Class Allies Q plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 30%, with 4 or more Type Key Spheres obtained, reduces damage received by 30% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. Active skill is a transformation into Super Janemba, can be activated after receiving damage five or more times in battle, once only, and his links are Innocent, More Than Meets the Eye, Metamorphosis, Master of Magic, Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Movie Bosses, Transformation Boost, and Mind and Body Erosion. And after you transform, his new super attack is Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 180%. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to another type of key sphere or to rainbow key spheres, plus an additional attack plus 40% with three or more type key spheres obtained. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, with a rainbow key sphere obtained. And he also gets uh, shocking speed, brutal beatdown, and fear and faith as new links. And that is everything you gotta know about this Janemba. So that pretty much does it for all of the known banners and units that'll be coming to global over the next six months before our sixth anniversary starts. But there should also be at least two other units that we don't know about yet that'll also be dropping. And one would be for Saiyan Day this year, which is on uh, March 18th every year for the past couple of years at least, we've been getting a brand new unit for both global and JP. Last year it was the transforming uh, Bardock, so I do expect another new Saiyan unit to be dropping at that time uh, for this year. And then for Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day, which would be May 8th, 9th, and 10th respectively, there should also be another global first. Of course, last year we got LRUI Goku, so maybe this year we could get... Um, I don't really know to be honest, like I don't really have any preferences at this point, but something new 
something global first should be on the way. So one global first, one uh, same day unit for both global and JP. Uh, should be added to this list, but of course we don't know what those are yet. So I just wanted to put that out there so you guys are aware, okay? And uh, that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Quick breakdown, we have the Janemba coming, we have PyCon's banner, we have Full Power Bojack, um, the Turles Army, LR, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and finally LR Jiren plus the Saiyan Day unit and also a global first unit around mid-May slash early June. Okay, so uh, that's it guys. That is gonna be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these banners or units that we talked about today are you the most excited for, which unit do you want the most, or are you gonna be saving most of your stones for the anniversary like a smart player? I mean, honestly, anniversaries are always the best times. I mean, anniversary and download celebrations are always the best times to spend your stones, so you should be keeping the anniversary in the back of your mind, especially because we are going to be getting a LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. We don't know what he does yet, but I'm sure he's going to be broken, and I'm sure his banner is going to be insane. So yeah, while I'm not telling you to like skip every banner, of course, um, do make a conscious effort to start saving for the anniversary too. Like, Don't spend all your stones every single time a new banner comes out, right? And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.